Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will walk you through the FreeCAD 1.0 user interface, which is very simple and straightforward. This is the welcome screen you will see when you first install the software. Here, you can pick the preferred language and the units that you would like to design in. and the navigation style, especially useful if you are already familiar with similar softwares. These navigation and unit settings are also available at the bottom, so you can adjust them anytime, even after starting your design. Here, you can pick the theme either light or dark background. In this section, you can select the design template based on your needs, or simply open an existing file. Let me open an empty file. This is the main user interface. At the top, we have the menu bar, and below it are the toolbars, which changes depending on the active workbench. Workbenches are specialized sets of tools and functions designed for specific tasks, such as 3D modeling, drafting, architectural design, or simulation. Each workbench focuses on specific workflows. Users can switch between workbenches depending on their needs. You can also install more workbenches via add-ons. Here you will see two tabs, the model tab and the task tab. Let me open a file to explain this further. The model tab stores your modeling history, allowing you to edit features anytime. The task tab only becomes active during the design process. This is a 3D viewport where you will visualize and interact with your model. To zoom in and out, roll the mouse wheel forward or backward or pressing plus or minus keys on your keyboard while pressing the control key. To pan in 3D viewport, press and hold the middle mouse button, or press and hold the right mouse button while holding the control key. To rotate, press and hold the middle mouse button first, then the left mouse button, or press and hold the right mouse button while pressing the shift key. These steps are for editing object colors, dimensions, and parameters. This is the navigation cube, which lets you switch between standard views like top, bottom, front, back, left, right, and isometric. You can also use this drop-down for standard views. You can also use the number keys from 0 to 6 on your keyboard. Here you will find additional options like orthographic or perspective view. Click Fit All to center all the elements in the viewport. Especially helpful if you are working on large assemblies. This drop down lets you change the display style to wireframe, shaded, hidden lines, etc. Many of these tools are also available via right-click. You can customize the interface by moving the windows and toolbars. For example, I can auto-hide this panel, so it only appears when I hover my mouse over here.
let me move it back if any tabs or toolbars are missing simply right click anywhere in the toolbar area and enable the hidden ones You can also rearrange toolbars by dragging them. Make sure the cursor looks like this. You can change the size of these toolbar icons under Preferences. If you ever run into UI issues, go to Preferences and click on Reset. And then restart FreeCAD. Everything should return to normal. And that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon.